Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today, guys, I'm doing an Office 2013 mini series. Uh, the only reason that I'm doing this is because uh, someone actually posted something in my Facebook that did a request that they wanted me to touch base on Access 2013. Uh, I'm not a huge big fan of Access to 2013 uh, because I'm not a huge database uh, person, but I have used Access when I needed to use it. So uh, I'm actually running my office 2013 on a windows 7 machine uh in the past i've done videos with uh, office 2013 and windows 8 but with this mini series i'm going to i'm going to use both platforms windows 7 and windows 8 doesn't really matter uh so let's get started and uh, i actually placed a nice little shortcut at on my taskbar access 2013 we're going to launch it for the very first time when you launch it for the very first time you're going to get into this nice little splash uh screen right here uh, I also have a video how to bypass this so if you guys want to check that video out go check it out uh, by default I'm already logged in into my hotmail account but most likely you're gonna see this uh, logged off but uh, what's really interesting that you're gonna get uh, was it seven seven options to pick from about I would say 90 95 percent of a lot of users will normally pick a blank desktop database and uh, why are you going to pick a blank desktop database? Because you're going to be customizing it for your workflow, for your work environment. Uh, custom web app is normally used if your infrastructure, your work environment is using a SharePoint server or you're using Office 365. You're basically doing everything on the web. Now, everything that has like a nice little globe little thing is what you're going to be getting from the web. These contexts are content that you're going to be getting from online. Uh, Office Office 2013 also made it nice and simple that you can actually search for things. So let's say I want to get a market marketing, and you press enter. So it's going to search for everything that's marketing related. Like right now, it has 158 templates that you could pick from that deals with access, that deals with marketing, which is pretty cool. So let's go to marketing let's let's pick something marketing it looks like search results for others so let's say I want this project right here this database so if I double click on this right here it gives me a nice little brief um, description of what the database is all about you know it creates a marketing marketing projects database to track time sensitive deliverables employee roles and etc cetera, etc cetera. it tells you the size of the of the download as well as the rating a lot of people have used this so far about 1800 votes so that's pretty good uh, gives you an option to change the file name and also the location of where you want to drop the database okay once you hit create it's going to automatically start do downloading that file locally to your machine or wherever you told it to be dropped off and then you can continue working on that now if you do not want to use uh, one of the templates that office automatically gives you or you could download for yourself you could just hit the back button and just click on blank desktop uh, when you click on blank desktop database you're gonna get a nice little text box with a lot which allows you to name your database on the spot so because this is our first uh, database together I'm gonna call it uh, let's call it BJ database and the location that I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it at this little location and let's hit create okay and that's it automatically when you open up access it's gonna create a table for you and within the table you need to create your columns and your roles and enter information now this is only the first episode for you guys so uh, stay tuned for the following episodes because I got more this access is such a huge topic so hopefully you guys enjoyed this first episode this little mini series of access 2013 if you have any questions or comments leave them right below at the comment section and don't forget about hitting that like button before you go and I catch you guys later peace out